So I was just about to go and we decided to pull off the stripes on the bonnet and look at that. There's a big difference straight away. Um, and it's got me thinking I was going to do white roof, white bonnet stripes, um, change a few things. But now when I'm looking at this, I'm actually thinking of leaving it alone. Because that, that black roof would have been an optional extra originally. The stripes that were on it were clearly just to hide some marks on the front and the same on the back. Um, got some minor lacquer um, peel here and some damage down there. But I'll tell you what, it looks a whole lot better without those stripes on it. Um, so I might leave it like this. I might obviously get, get those lacquer peel areas fixed and do a bit of paint correction. Well, that roof is fantastic, it's not, you know, apart from the dirt, it's fine. Get it cleaned up. Bonnet is going to need a little bit of work because um, it's got lacquer issues. You can see where the stripes have uh, just come off now. Um, and it just looks like a whole, whole lot cleaner. So, yeah, jury's out at the moment, but I think I might leave the roof and not do any because there's so many of these with bonnet stripes as well. It's actually yeah. slightly rarer to see one without. Um, and they put uh, like a bit of a, wee, a she, uh, wolf in sheep's clothing as well then. Right, moment of truth in the bonnet then. You can see where the stripe lines are. And if you look in close, but yeah, you might not be able to see that so well on the video. There's crackles on the, in the paint. So I've got some tea cut colour fast. Just going to give it a quick go and see if I can do anything with this to see if they saw whether it's going to need a bloody respray now. So I'll give it a try. So this is after tea cut. I managed to get rid of the lines where the stripe was. If you look closely, there's still quite a lot of cutting uh, on the bonnet. So the bonnet's not perfect, but some of these marks are strategically where the stripes would be. So I might leave it like this, to be honest. So I'm going to try and put some, um, I've got some auto gleam down there, resin polish. I'm going to polish it now and see what it looks like after the polish. But that's a significant improvement over what it looked like um, 10 minutes ago. Uh, in fact, it's like a shiny than the rest of the car now, so I'll have to do the whole car possibly, but uh, it's not looking bad at all. Okay, polish is on. I'm going to let that go hard for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to buff it. And I might do another layer, just going to see now what it comes out like. But can't see the lines of where the stripes were anymore. They've gone completely, so the tea cuts worked in fairness. Worth no one tea cut colour fast, and this is Auto Gleam Super Resin Polish on top of it then. All right, so the resin polish has been done and wiped off. It looks like it's never had stripes now. It's actually gotten rid of the lines from the stripes, but if you look closely at the bonnet, here there's still cuts and marks um, in it. So you know, we can tell where it's cracked, but that is a significant improvement on what it looked like earlier. So I'm gonna leave this go now for maybe two or three weeks and see whether it fades or not. And uh, yeah, make a decision. I've got options. I can either just keep polishing it and leaving it. And in fairness, it doesn't look too bad at all. Or option B is have it resprayed completely, which is going to cost a couple of hundred pounds. Or option three is to change it. And if I change it, I'm probably going to go for a Cooper S bonnet with a with a vent because I like that. Um, but just finding a tidy one then. Um, so the, yeah, those are my options. So watch your space. I may stick with it because that's the cheapest option and it's not looking too bad at all. So. 